Hello, welcome to Favor CNC 8055 MC Profile Editor Lesson Number Three: Entry and Exits with Linear Tangential or Overlaps. In the previous example, we talked about how to plot our initial starting point on the profile. And now we're going to enhance that by also showing how to do a lead-in entry, uh, you know, linear or tangential, and then also overlapping of cuts. Uh, and this is something that we also have to plan for before we actually start entering any information into the profile editor. For my example here, you can see that I already have the profile editor open. Let's take a look at a blueprint. Here we have an example of a circle, but here we have a linear lead on. We're going to go around the circle and we're going to have a linear exit off of the circle. And the center is at x0, y0, and the lead on is a half an inch long with a one inch radius. Let's go ahead and enter this into the profile editor now. First we want to press the F1 key. We're going to choose Profiles, and here is the initial starting point that we discussed in lesson number two. Uh, this is going to be off of the part a given distance to allow us to do our lead on entry and our lead off exit. Uh, in our case, it's a half inch long, but we want to start on this side of center. So we're going to type in for X minus 0.5, and for Y, we're going to be one inch above center. And here's where our initial starting point will be. Let's go ahead and let's validate that with the F7 key. It now turns white. Now we want to do the entry line. And this will be done with a straight line by pressing the F1 key. Over here, X2, Y2, it wants to know where the line ends. And in our case, it's going to end back at X0, Y1 inch. And again, we're going to press the F7 key to validate it. Now we're going to do a clockwise arc. We're going to press the F2 key. And we also want X2, Y2 to end at X0, Y1 inch. And we know that the center of X is at 0, and the center of Y is at 0. Uh, I'm going to leave the radius out because you can see that the profile editor already has the information needed and the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose tangency yes I'm going to validate this so now we have our lead on entry we're going to go around the circle clockwise and now we need to do our exit off of the circle so we're going to do another straight line so in this case, x2 is now going to end at positive x.5 and y of 1 inch. And here we have our preview of it in purple. And also, this is going to be tangent to the circle. And we're going to validate that. This project is now complete. We enter onto the circle with a straight line. We go around clockwise and then we come off the circle with a straight line. Let's look at another part example. In this part example, we have a simple square. Uh, the corner is at x0, y0. The square is 2, minus 2 in the y, and 2 in the x. And we have a linear lead on to the center, or the midpoint of this line, again a half inch. Let's go ahead and draw this project in the profile editor. Again we'll go to edit, profile, the initial starting point okay from our blueprint <clears throat> you can see that this is <clears throat> the midpoint would be at one inch in X and Y would be zero but we want to be up positive a half an inch in the Y. 
So we're going to be at 1 inch on X and positive 0.5 in Y. We're going to go ahead and we're going to press F7 to validate this. Now we want to do a straight line down to Y0. So again, we're going to be at X1, Y0. And we're going to go ahead and validate this. Now we want to complete our square. So we're going to do another straight line. We want X to go to 2 inches, Y of 0. And we're going to validate this. Another straight line to X of 2 inches, Y minus 2 inches. And we're going to validate this as well. We're going to do another straight line. This time X is going to go to 0. And Y is going to be to minus 2 inches. Valid. Validate. Another straight line to X0, zero, Y0. Zero. Validate. And another straight line to X of 1 inch, Y of 0. Validate. And although this will be hidden, we're going to add another straight line to x of 1 inch, y of 0.5, and validate it. So in this case, we have a straight line coming in over, down, over, back, and then off of the part again. Now, I'm going to show you an enhancement of how we can do a tangential entry and exit. So once you've drawn your project and you already have a linear lead on and lead off or entry and exit, we're going to press the escape key a couple of times until we get the modify feature. We're going to press the F2 modify and we're going to choose corners. And here we have the tangential entry. And here it's already chose the entry point. And I'm going to go ahead and put a radius of 0.25. And now I want to do a tangential exit. And now I need to go around the project to find the end point. And I'll also do a 0.25. And now we have a tangential entry and a tangential exit from this project. Let's look at another project. In this project, again, we have the 2 by 2 square, uh, x0, y0 in this corner, uh, y minus 2, x2 in this corner. Uh, in the previous project, we started in the center, but in this one, we're going to do an overlap. Uh, this is where we're going to start a little bit behind center, or the midpoint, go around the part, and then go a little bit past center to come off of the part. Uh, we're going to do about a quarter of an inch overlap. Uh, let's go ahead and see what it looks like to enter this project into the profile editor. Again, we're going to go to Edit, Profile. Again, we have our initial point. Let's go ahead and uh, let's enter in our initial point. If you remember before, our initial point was 1 inch. But I want to change the initial point to 1 inch minus an eighth of an inch. So here I'm using the calculator feature using the minus key on the keypad. So it's one inch minus one eighth of an inch. And it's going to give us 875 is where we're going to start. And we want to start Y at 0.5 off of the part. Here we are. Let's validate that. Now we want to do a straight line down. We're going to go X2 is going to remain at 0.875 and Y2 is going to be 0 and we're going to validate that. Now we're going to do a straight line to X of 2, Y of 0, validate it. Another straight line 
to x of 2, y minus 2, and we're going to validate that. Another straight line, x of 0, y of minus 2, we're going to validate it. Another straight line, x of 0, y of 0, we're going to validate that. And this time, we're going to do a straight line, but we're going to go past center. So we're going to do another straight line, and x is 1 inch, but I'm going to hit the plus key on my keyboard, add an eighth of an inch, and y of 0. And now you can see that we've gone past center. I'm going to validate it. And now I'm going to do another straight line to come off of the part. So x2 will be again 1.125 and y this time will be 0.5 and I'm going to validate it. So what we have in this example is a linear entry straight down to the part surface. We're going to go around the profile clockwise, come past center for an overlap, and then exit the part with a linear. But again, we can enhance this by turning this to a tangential entry. Again, by pressing the Escape key twice after I've completed my project, and pressing the Modify key, choose Corners, do Tangential Entry, it automatically assumes this is the entry point, and I'm going to put um, I'm going to put a 0.125 radius on this this time. And you can see here is our tangential entry. Next, I want to do our tangential exit. And this time, I'm going to have to press the next key, walk all the way around the project to the corners until I get to the defined endpoint. And I'm going to again put an eighth of an inch. So in this example, we now have an entry, go around the part, and we have an exit but we also have the overlap feature. This concludes lesson number three.